Namaste. So these are some hand and neck exercises. I've already come out with a couple of neck exercises. Uh, so I thought I'll make another video. You can do this standing. You can do this seated on the chair. I always like to sit in Sukhasan. Sometimes this is also more comfortable, Siddhasan. So I'm sitting in Sukhasan, the most basic comfortable meditative posture. So I clasp my hands. As you can see, just bringing it at shoulder length, as you can see, spine is straight, as I breathe in and breathe out. You can even clasp your hands like this, in and out, in and out. You can even round your back, can you see the spine and then you arch your back. You can see I've arched my back. So now the variation, rounding your back as you exhale, just like a C, let a C, arch your back as you breathe in. So can you see, round and arch, round and arch. Last round, chin towards the chest as I round and arch and it's good to roll your shoulders because it works a lot on the neck, shoulder, hand, elbows. So another one is, I really like this, clasp your hands. Your front hand is straight, the back hand is bent. Just continue breathing. Remember not to turn the whole thing, just your hands. And then bring it here. So nice uh, uh, stretch on your shoulder, on my right shoulder. I can feel it here. So front hand is straight, back hand is bent. Again, about three to five rounds. You can even continuously move, but sometimes I just like to stay in the posture, take a couple of breaths, <clears throat> sorry. Just feeling the stretch on my shoulder, my fingers, my hands, it works a lot on the neck. And last round, so try to bring it at shoulder length and relax and just roll your shoulders. So that was another hand, neck, shoulder, actually I can say the whole upper body, basically the cervical and the upper back. Now clasp your hands and bring it up, stretch and back. So you can again go back to Vajrasan, clasp your hands, stretch and back. Last round. Stretch and back. So you can get into Namaste. I just, I just, uh, this came to me. I'm not seeing it in any book. So you can see my fingers are spread out. It's a nice work on the wrist and fingers. I'll try to make circle. So you can stay for 10 seconds in each variation, as you can see. Then at the forehead, so as you can see, I spread out my fingers. It's not together, so a lot of work on the fingers. Just five five uh, directions and back. So I'm not done yet. Relax your shoulder. So we go back anti-clockwise. I'm still feeling a lot on my fingers as I'm talking. Second, second variation, second position. Third at the forehead, as I'm just looking at the clock. Fourth, so as I said, just five to ten seconds. Fifth position, still my fingers are spread out, and last, and then just roll your wrist. And the most tough one, as you can see, if you can with your hands in Namaste. You can do the standing if you can. If this is tough, this is a very good variation. This is a good way to start. Otherwise, if your hands are flexible, ensure your back is straight. Sometimes we tend to overarch. Again, a lot of work on the wrist and the neck and the hand. 
So I hope these helped. Thank you. Namaste.